Given the recent U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan, the Pentagon's not going to have boots on the ground there to monitor terror or any other kind of threats within the country. So again, thinking about data and how it can help us gather intelligence, I mean, how can Palantir's work help manage what's going to be uh, an over-the-horizon approach to Afghanistan going forward? Yeah, so I mean, that, that specific problem really highlights um, one of our most recent product innovations. Uh, we call it an AI inference platform. And so what, what that platform allows uh, the DoD and some commercial customers to do is move AI to the edge. And so um, what we allow is um, to take AI vendors, either it's us or other third-party vendors, can now collaborate um, with micromodels on, on drones, on submarines, on vehicles, on planes, and even up to satellites. So um, that's super exciting because um, what you there's a bunch of challenges with AI. And um, if you want to be able to see over the horizon, you have to, one, start with integrated data. That's kind of our bread and butter. Uh, and then once you have that, then you can start to apply uh, artificial intelligence. And so it's 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 super exciting. But what it allows you to do then is you can you can use very specific models. You can change the models on the fly. The models learn faster, uh, and you can help help people make decisions faster because that's that's what you need to do. Now, you yourself actually served with special operations in Iraq, Afghanistan, Pakistan in the two thousands. I'm just curious. You know, how does the ability for troops and officers to really process data in those operations differ now, again, thanks to the work of Palantir and other companies, compared to your experience uh, being in the field in the, in the past? Yeah, I, well, you know, when I discovered, I, I started Palantir, you know, I started the defense business, so I know, uh, it, you know, none of this stuff existed. So my time as a commander, you you just... There was so much information, and uh, most of the time, it, it you couldn't get to it. So you didn't know what you didn't know. And so it was hard to keep track of the information you did have, but then processing like national level capabilities or new innovations, many times we would have these exquisite sensors or things, but you didn't have access to them or know that they even existed. And so, um, you know, one of the things I think about is like a lifetime of service to the nation is this idea that helping them... Um, bring all the decision making ability, like in terms of bringing this information together so they can make better decisions. I mean, it makes me super proud. Um, it's, it's more and more complex every day and, you know, young commanders have to do a lot. And so, you know, I, I personally really enjoy helping.